Welcome to Undergraduate Course Structure. In this video, we'll help you to understand your undergraduate bachelor's course. We'll cover the rules and requirements and the components that make up your course and how they fit together. And we'll explain the key terms such as majors and units. Your course corresponds to the bachelor's degree that you're studying towards. For example, if you're studying towards the Bachelor of Commerce degree, you're enrolled in the Bachelor of Commerce course. Whether you're studying Arts, Science or Commerce, your course has a flexible structure which will allow you to explore a wide range of interests and develop your communication, research and problem-solving skills. A major is your main area of study. It provides you with the opportunity to specialise in a particular discipline or field and develop the expertise that will equip you to move into a rewarding career after graduation or to pursue further study in a similar area at postgraduate level. Each undergraduate degree has its own degree-specific majors and you must complete the requirements of at least one. Each degree has a range of majors to choose from. For example, if you're studying a Bachelor of Science, you could take a major in anything from engineering to zoology. You can also take a second major chosen from those offered within your degree area or from any other undergraduate degrees. So if you're studying a Bachelor of Science with a degree-specific major in engineering, you could choose a second major from arts, commerce, biomedical science, or science. Each major is made up of a structured sequence of units. A unit is a subject or topic of focus that you enrol in. Units are the building blocks of your degree. They are normally worth six credit points and last one semester. Please note, there are two semesters in one academic year. A standard full-time enrolment load is four units per semester, or eight units per year. Undergraduate units can be completed at Level 1, Level 2, or Level 3. Level 1 units are introductory, Level 2 units are intermediate, and Level 3 units are advanced. You can only include up to 12 Level 1 introductory units in your course and you must include at least three Level 3 or Advanced units to meet your degree requirements. Remember, Level does not mean Year. You can progress on to Level 2 and 3 units as soon as you meet the prerequisites. Each unit consists of 150 hours of student workload, including contact hours, personal study and examinations. You must complete 24 units in your undergraduate degree. There are several types of units that will make up your degree. Within your major, there are a number of different units that you must complete. Core units are the compulsory units in your major. Some majors only have core units, for example, data science whereas others allow you to choose from a selection of options, for example, philosophy. Most majors offer a combination of core units and option units. Some degree-specific majors require you to study complementary units as well. These units provide additional knowledge in particular areas to allow you to successfully complete your major. For example, Many science majors require maths units as complementary units. Complementary units are normally not required if you take a major as a second major, but there are some exceptions. Check the handbook for details. Broadening units are designed to expose you to different ideas and ways of learning, which will prepare you for the challenges of a changing world and workforce. They will ensure that you have a broad knowledge across a range of disciplines, in addition to the specialised knowledge you will gain within your major. This will help you stand out from the crowd when you enter your career. 
you need to pass four broadening units to complete your degree. Watch our video on broadening units for more information on how to choose these units. And finally, electives are units that can be chosen freely from all available units, provided that you meet the prerequisites and have space in your study plan. There is no set number of electives per degree. The space you have to include electives depends on your choice of majors. For example, if you choose one major, you may have more space for electives than if you choose two majors. Remember, you must take 24 units that meet the course rules to complete your degree. Let's look at some examples. This study plan shows a standard full-time enrolment over three years. In this example, the student is taking a single degree-specific major, shown in green. There is also one complementary unit that must be taken with their degree-specific major. This is shown in dark blue. After including four broadening units, shown in light blue, this student will have room for 11 electives to make up the 24 units required for the degree. In this second example study plan, the student is taking a degree-specific major, shown in green, and a second major, shown in dark blue. Again, there is one complementary unit that must be taken as part of their degree-specific major. After including their four broadening units, this student will have room for three electives. Remember, these example study plans are a guide only. Every student's study plan will be different and unique to the choices that you make. More study plan examples are available on the Handbook website, or you can contact your allocated course advice office, shown on Student Connect, for help checking that your study plan meets your degree requirements. You can also ask us a question by sending an email via Ask UWA. Just log on with your UWA FEMI password. So what's next? Check out our other videos on broadening units, how to use the handbook to create a study plan, and how to enrol on Student Connect. Use the Unistart website for your step-by-step -step guide through the enrolment and orientation process.